Black Friday weekend. Now here we go guys, we are starting the stream for real. This is Outlast from Red Barrels Games. Looks like it's going to be a little bit creepy. Hey Stitorg. Awesome. A lot of our regulars are showing up. That's just great. You know, um, although obviously I want to grow the channel and meet new people, it especially makes me happy to see a bunch of people who I know for sure are cool and good viewers showing up like every time we do a stream. That is so wonderful. <laughs> Gomez, why are you going to be yelling? Because this game freaks you out so much? Outlast. Let's do it. Ooh, he's got the light turned off. You know, I should do that too. I'm going to do it. But you know, whenever a game lets me adjust the gamma, I always turn it up a little bit, because I just plain don't like not being able to see stuff. Alright. So, I can start a new game on the main game itself, or Whistleblower, which was previously released as DLC on other platforms, but it comes automatically with the Xbox One version. We... And actually, a lot of people say that Whistleblower has an especially good story. But we're just going to start with the regular game, which, unfortunately, I have never played before. What? No easy difficulty? We'll stick with normal. Hi, little one-on-one. -on -one. Another possibly new viewer. Always love those. Okay, so guys, Outlast has everything you would see in an episode of South Park. Be aware of that. There will be uh, blood and naked people and stuff. Stay alive as long as I can and record everything. I am a journalist. <laughs> Cycling guy Nella says he keeps running into my car in uh, Forza Horizon. I assume he means Forza Horizon, maybe Forza 5. Oh, okay. So Whistleblower will be more enjoyable if we play the main game first, and I'm glad I picked this. <laughs> Uh-oh, no subtitles? Hold on. There's got to be an option for subtitles. Yeah, because I got my volume down pretty low. I don't want to not understand what's happening. Enter. And we're back to the game. I can look around, but I'm not actually steering. Gun it! Nope, not working. Ah, so little one-on-one -on -one has been here. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoy the stream. Hey, Kaylorena. And welcome, Pax. Pax is an old friend from Cheap Ass Gamer and Steam. I'm gonna throw him some ops. Also, hello, Capt Captain Fraps. This is a downloadable game. It costs twenty dollars. Indie game, but it looks really nice. Like uh, this is a very solid three in three D engine. And by the way, if you play games on PC, the Steam version is on sale for five dollars this weekend. Super good deal on that. It's not actually on sale on Xbox One right now. Just regular price. So we got a little document here. Looks like the guy has received a tip. <laughs> but seriously, screw those guys. <laughs> Waiting for them in the mountain. Interesting. Yeah, so we're going to have to investigate this asylum, I believe. Uh, Seek Lutch, I don't actually have Inquisition, but it sure looks good. Like, if it had been on sale for 30 this weekend, I would have bought it in an instant. But it did just come out. Oh, looks like I got a fa fancy camera. My press badge. Some high-resolution textures here. At least some of them are. Hey, Sosa. Glad to see you. <laughs> I won't be able to understand what's happening anyway. Okay, um, let's see. My notes and picked up documents. There's the whistleblower. Okay. So the whistleblower is a prequel as I understand it. This does 
also just brings up the main menu. First person perspective, you know, that does increase the terror because you're right there watching it all happen. Can I not go in? Come on, get in there. Apparently I'm kind of fat. Who told them this? You can duck with the B button? Don't see a way to interact with the computer. So... Oh, hey, Ken Zivit. Ken Zivit approves of my game collection. Alright, press X to open it slowly. Okay, we'll go slow. Let's raise your camcorder, press right bumper. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I do own quite a lot of Xbox One games, but that is because I get a lot of them for free. I mean, I still buy games, but... Oh, okay, let's read this. Uh-oh. So these are like my notes, huh? Cell reception cut off. More like a jammer than a lost signal. Never on American soul. This reminds me a little of The Evil Within, because it has a part where you have to approach in a building much like this. Whoa, look at that. Some great atmosphere. I guess I want to turn the camera off. Is that a person over there? I think it's just a tree. Or a gate? A locked gate? Let's run, hold left bumper. Well, that's good to know, because this is a big courtyard. Oh, can't break out. I'm really impressed with how the game looks. Because you play a lot of these idea Xbox games, and uh, not that they don't look good, but they generally are not very technology focused. You know, like for instance, Contrast, very pretty game, but nowhere near as detailed as this visually. Does not want to open. Let's see. Yeah, Zorbs asks whether I've ever played Outlast before. I never have. This is a totally new experience for me. Oh, keep my camera on. Okay. But then I have to have this yellow hue. You know, it's like playing the Batman games, how they make you uh, have the bat vision on all the time, you know? Night vision. Well, yeah, night vision is handy. Uh, Ken Zivit asks how long this game is. Uh, do any of our readers know? I seem to remember hearing that it maybe it was like eight hours long, but I'm not sure. And why do they have like armored personnel carriers or whatever that is? All right, let's run. Ah, Joy tells us that the evil within is scary. All right, yeah, and um, the what I've played of the evil within, I agree, is also scary. That's a game that I need to stream sometime as well. Although, like, we might not be able to get prizes for it. All right, I can zoom in and out. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty handy. I can see why you would want to keep the camcorder going. So we got a ladder to climb there, and there's a door. Some pretty murky water. Not seeing any items to grab. Want to look over here real fast. Nothing. All right, let's go up the ladder. Had to put the camcorder away. You know how it is. Our investigative reporter does not have a camera helmet. Uh-oh, got to jump. Wow, and I can pull myself up and everything. Very immersive. Oh, gosh. See, I don't know if I'd be willing to do this in real life. I mean, besides the horror aspect, I just don't know if I'd be willing to jump across scaffolding like that. Um, oh. Looks like I can go in this broken window. Uh, so I just... I mean, I have my camera on and I still can't see anything. Oh, press... Click in the right stick to activate it. Um... A little too freaky. I mean, nothing bad's happening, but... Looks like we got some TV screens. Uh, I mean, they're supposed to be monitors, but they don't actually light up, so I guess they're just pictures. It's like a chimney. Let's go in the chimney. Fireplace, whatever. There wasn't anything good. 
Let's open it real slow like. Keep it in perspective. What if I could get an exclusive on the Xbox 2? I totally do it. Gomez just made a really good point. Hey Gomez, did you ever read that link I sent you to at Badass Digest? That's actually one of my favorite websites. Obviously Windows Central is my very favorite, but as far as websites that I don't work for, Badass Digest is probably number one. Here we go. Lots of great movie coverage, a little bit of TV coverage, and a little bit of gaming coverage. And their gaming guy is very talented. Whoa, what the heck? Oh my... That was not a nice sound. TV came on. Just gonna hide in here for a while. I think I'm fine. Ah. <laughs> uh, Gomez, I replied to one of your comments. It was actually a comment on my uh, Xbox One Year One review. You know, I think you have email notification of uh, replies to your comments, so you should have gotten an email about it. Um, I just noticed that my camcorder has a battery. So what do I do about that, you guys? Fatal Frame. You know, I've never played Fatal Frame. Or even Dead Space, sadly. Ha, ah, but we do own all, de all three Dead Spaces. I've simply never played them. That's where I was outside. Hold on, isn't this where I just came from? Um, yeah, it seems to be. Well, I gotta turn the camera off. So, here's where I need to be going. Find batteries. Okay, you guys just told me to keep it on all the time. Nobody said anything about batteries. That's a little too realistic for me. Oh, you could have it on without night vision and you're not using the battery. Okay. Supposedly. Squeeze through there. I like how the perspective changed to represent really squeezing through. By the way, we're only streaming for one hour tonight. Our streams earlier in the week were for two hours. Hey, a battery! Or a small vibrator. You can reload by pressing Y. Let's reload that shiz. That's the good stuff. Good thing they're universal, right? Just like real life. Oh, what is, is that the door? Yeah. So why can't I do anything with a computer? You know, if you're going to have all those computers around, have some kind of possible interaction with them. Wait for the fat guy. I don't like the way that sounds. Oh, somebody broke our little teamwork award. And then they got blood on the wall. That's very inconsiderate. Oh, boy. <gasps> and they left the phone off the hook. These people are just a mess. What do we got? Morphogenic engine. No bronchial accumulation. Laughter in nervous REM state. Uh oh. So this guy apparently found out that his mother is suing the place where they're keeping him. And he found out through his dream state, not through actual real life. Alright, let's pull the fire alarm. Oh, did that door just close and lock? I suppose that means I don't wish to go in there. See, this is why I don't play horror games very much, because they're scary. Uh, luckily I have... Oh, hey, T... R T Rhodes, yeah, T Rhodes is here. Good to see a little more than a mess. Hey, Techno Thugs, good to see you too. 
All right. Wow, we have an awesome crowd tonight. I'm extra pleased. I wasn't thinking we'd uh, get more than 30, but no, we're doing great. Let me in. Great. Somebody's just holding up in there. Can't go through there either. Okay, so I, I knew I had to go up there, but I was just hoping there'd be other stuff. And why is there blood in the freaking ceiling? Ah, spider webs, yuck. Dark room, can't go through. How much time? I just got here. Hey, Nevin. Good to see you. Oh, hey. Can't actually... I'm just witnessing things. But there are other people still alive in here. That's what we've learned. Somebody else is running around. Literally running, it looks like. And dropping down. Boom. Is there combat in this game, you guys? Because, like I said, I know very little about it. Ah! Jesus! <sighs> yeah, I do feel a little sick, come to think of it. Hey, John Callahan! Uh, John Callahan, are you the John Callahan who works with us? Yes, that was scary. Um. What did? What did? Then the body fell. And I'm just gonna walk all over it. And there's another one. Ah, oh, look at that! It's got physics. It's just like my birthday. Somebody already got all the candy, though. Nice maze of books they've got going on here. Um, I, oh, what happened to you, buddy? They killed us. You got out. The variants. You can't. Fight them. Are those actual human heads? Can unlock the main doors. Security control. Security control, huh? Oh, uh, poor guy. I should have helped him. You have to get the fuck out of this terrible place. I don't know if you could still be talking in the state that he's in, but um, turns out there are variants and they have to be avoided. What was that? Okay. Another restroom? Ah! Okay. Battery. Nice. I do need one. And, uh, yeah, there is a hand sticking out of the toilet, so, uh, you don't want to think about what that guy ate. <laughs> Thank you. Techno Thugs says that I'm a badass. I'm going to have to agree with him on this one. Definitely not totally freaked out. <laughs> Some... Attractive pictures there. Isn't that Neil McDonough? It, uh, you know, the guy f um, from Captain America? The first one? Really looked like him. Maybe a little bit manipulated in the facial features. Ah! <laughs> ah, ah. Jerk. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Gomez. And who are you? Hey, somebody's alive. And not a monster, as far as I can tell. I... I see. Merciful God, an apostle. sent me an apostle. 
Guard your life, son. You have a calling. So we got a crazy religious guy. Is there any other kind? Hey, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Paz 9x appreciates watching horror game streams. Those are some real guts there. All right, objectives updated. Um, what? Those are both the same. Bodies everywhere. Blood and burn marks. Profit off the exploitation of charity. Yeah, poor tactical pot cop. Oh. <laughs> oh man. What the? Why did he make that sound? He's like, oh! All we're doing is climbing. Um, this security guy is sleeping on the job, and that's how there got to be so much trouble because he's not being. Diligent. So which of these rooms can we go in? Not that one. I guess I should read whatever I just picked up. Warrant for seizure. Well, that tells us one thing or another. <laughs> Shadow. Uh, all right. Yeah, I admit, that was a lot of guts. Hey, look, there's somebody in a wheelchair. Is he alive? I can zoom. He is a wiggling. You stay there, dude. I'm coming for you. Maybe. Probably I should be using the camera zoom more. I forgot that I could do it for a little while. Okay, we got a busted up wheelchair. All right, let's read the directions. Security room, that's where I'm supposed to go, right? So I guess we'll just go that way. Oh, shh. Is that just a guy? We'll just hide out in here with the guts on the shelves. That seems like a reasonable thing to do. Oh, there's flies and everything. Battery. Swish. It should just automatically change the batteries. I don't like having to remember what button to do it with, because I forgot. Probably while I was peeing myself. <laughs> yes. Uh, by the way, I want to thank my moderator, TylerH1701 tonight. Please follow him on Twitter if you're not following him already. He does a lot of streaming. More than me, he streams like basically every time he plays on PlayStation 4. And that's a lot. So you can see a lot of cool games. Lately he's been playing Far Cry 4. Witness. Word up. What was that sound? I guess I'll let that guy have At least I can do it at this point. Yeah, first person really is the way to go with horror games. Oh, it needs a key card? Come on. Can I jimmy it? Let's see. Ken Zivit asks our bros what games they have bought during Black Friday. I'll go ahead and answer that for myself. For Black Friday, I bought Titanfall with its DLC and uh, Mirror's Edge for Xbox 360. I've been wanting that, and it was finally on sale for a good price. And, uh, gee, that's all I actually bought. You know, um, there aren't that many games I want that I don't have. I do want Dragon Age Inquisition and Shadow of Mordor, but I uh, couldn't actually afford to pick them up because I had a lot of presents to buy. My girlfriend's birthday is coming up before Christmas. Okay. So we got some kind of profit potential thing going on. Ambiguous death, huh? 
dangerous initiative. Oh, and there's going to be more casualties. Great. Ha, <laughs> but nobody cares about the patients. Sucks to be them. Morphogenic engine therapy is doing something bad to them. Somebody only cares about money. And that is not the way to be. The dangers of capitalism. That zooming is nice and smooth. I really like the feature of being able to just do it with the up and down on the D-pad. Is Forza Horizon 2 on sale, Kinzibit asks. I believe some places have it. I mean, the Microsoft Store has it on sale. I don't know if it's on sale on uh, Xbox.com, though. I don't think it is. Why should we have to pay for this? Why do we have to die? Walker will kill us just for being sick. Who are some people? We didn't choose this! Um, are they saying that right now, or is that like a past thing? Because it sounded like more of a flashback. See, I don't know if running is even a good idea, or if it matters. I could go downstairs, I just want to be sure there's nothing else up here first. Something. Got that battery. Dirty bathroom. Yeah, uh, don't you hate places that don't clean their restrooms regularly? Like, I, I had to go to Dallas. That's a five-hour drive. And, you know, like, sometimes we'd stop at the nicer gas stations, and other times you just have to accept whatever is around. And, uh, yeah, you know, it's really annoying when you when the places don't care to have enough manpower to keep the restroom clean. Because you do have to have enough people working to do that. Which is totally the thing to think about instead of all the gross, scary stuff going on around me. So there wasn't anything good in here. Can I... Like, where's the guy's key card? Shouldn't he have it on him? Yeah, Gomez, tell me where the key is, because... Otherwise, we're going to be doing all this wandering. Yeah, uh, Titanfall Deluxe Edition is on sale on Xbox One right now. It comes with the game and all of its DLC, and that's what you want to own. Like, really good game to buy. Hey, I can get into this place. All right. Yeah, see, I knew I needed to... I guess I'll go ahead and reload my battery. That battery. Dead guy. Walk on him for a little bit. I wish the lighting was better in here. I mean, it's not the game's fault, but these people, they need to pay their power bill. Something. That's a glowy thing. Can't do anything with it, though. Well, nothing, nothing of interest in that whole big room. But here's something. Document. Let's see. Morphogenic engine activity. Uh, Walker is interviewed in restraints following his self-inflicted mutilations. Come on, Walker. It's the patient's name. Yeah. Chuck Norris. Uh, dermal eruptions, failed morphogenic, so the morphogenic engine screws with your skin. Ew, a truer way of seeing. Uh, yeah, that's pretty freaky. Peek. Hey, you can peek. There's that guy. Sorry guys, I'm still getting over an illness. 
prone to coughing fits. Is that toilet paper? I could use some of that. Is this just a regular dude? Um. He doesn't seem to be doing too well, does he? Don't think I'm going to interact. Hey, people. Uh. I, man. I mean, it looks like I should go in here, but it also looks like I'll get killed. They're watching static. Fair to say this place hasn't been too good to these dudes. Luckily they don't seem to be enemies, at least right now. Yeah. Music creates a nice sense of dread. <laughs> Aw. Uh, yeah, Tyler used to have a Windows phone, but he had to uh, give it up. He switched over to Android, poor lad. But I still love him. Alright. Am I the one making those sounds? like weather's going a little crazy doesn't it hey there's my key card yes you okay buddy he's just resting so my inventory is simply listed right there Interesting how so far the game is more about dread than actual challenge. Which is perfectly fine with me, because the combination of the two things, that's what gets you alien isolation. Ah, jeez! Get off of me! Ah! Leave me alone, buddy. Uh -huh. I mean, not that I wouldn't have liked to have helped him. But... As a journalist, you have to remain impartial. You can't get involved to that extent. I wish it would let us hang up the phones, like, because the phone being off the hook is really annoying. Ah! That's interesting, the ability to look behind you. I hope I can remember that. This is not, like, a common gaming thing. Uh, let's close this door. I feel better. Excuse me. Now this is like alien isolation. Uh, yeah, um, Tyler got... When Tyler's Xbox 360 got banned, you know, a lot of people got banned at that same time. And some people were blaming those people for doing, like, uh, they were like, oh, they were account sharing and stuff. But no, I know for a fact that Tyler never did anything like that. Um, press X to unlock me. Yeah, they, Microsoft was overly uh, harsh with their punishments when everybody was getting the games from Oman. Uh oh, what is that guy doing? 
That's not good. Restart the generator in the basement, because he just turned all the power off. Uh oh. Okay, I'll hide in the locker. But why? Is there actually anyone there? Oh, there is. Uh. I'm glad I shut the door at least. So what is that guy doing? Yeah, he sounds like Mitt Romney. Don't come over here. Just keep going. Come on, I'm sure you're a very busy, big, fat thing. <sighs> hey, Gomez. You only missed the fat guy. Doing fat guy things, as they tend to do. Um, so I need to go to the basement, so I guess I'm going to double back to that stairway that we saw earlier. Oh, now it is really dark. Uh, man, I didn't have my camera out. I hope I didn't miss anything. It's nice how your player character casts a shadow like that. A little extra detail. Ah, wash all the blood off. Locker. So, uh, PLV Reflex says that the achievements can be hard in this game. I believe it. I am not going to worry about achievements. It's enough for me to just be able to say I survived. Let's see. Hypnotic Experimentation. Material abridged. Started in 1954, so that's some old material. Uh... Instructed that she should use every method at her disposal to awaken Miss Jackson. Whoa, and she fired the gun at her. That's not good. Firing the gun at Jackson, and then fell into a deep sleep. Which she refused to pick up. Yeah? That's not a very nice experiment. Oops. Nothing over there. Nope, not really. I can press A to vault. Whee! There's a dude on the other side. He's not afraid to hurt me. I'm afraid to hurt me. More vaulting. Oh, it is so dark in here. Dead body. All the hanging bodies look identical. That's one slight downside. I mean, that's the kind of thing you have to do when you're a game developer. Okay, I have to turn on the two gas pumps and the main breaker, and I don't know where any of that crap is. Can I do anything with that? No. There's a door up there. Uh, I guess I'll try the door. Oh, it's dark. At least there's a battery in here. With this whole battery mechanic, scarcity of resources, I'm personally never crazy about that. Is there anyone actually coming?
Ah! Jeez! Fuck! Get into there! Ah! Stay oh crap! That's not fair! Man, I couldn't tell if he was really coming. Okay, just let me die. I didn't I wanna restart the checkpoint. Uh oh, look at Ah! Oh. That wasn't cool. No, he was coming, John. I should have stayed in there. How far back is it going to take me, I wonder? Okay, that's not horrible. Who's there? When will people learn that asylums just don't work? Now, what I'm wondering is... Um, you know, I can go up there and I can hide for a while, but is the guy going to disappear or is he going to keep wandering around? Get the battery. Restart the thing. And then just take a nice nap. <laughs> Does the whole game use courier font? That's a good question. Courier's not a bad font, though. I use it for my subtitles in my videos. I just want to say it's really nice having all of you guys join us tonight. Um, ah, there's the scary guy. Yeah, see, like, playing this on my own, don't know if I could handle it, because it really is very tense. But with a few 50 pals or so, it's a lot better. Just another ghost. Okay, is it safe to come out or am I going to have to stay in here for 20 minutes? Uh, you have to hide from people and then sneak them around? So, oh no, is that him walking around? That is him walking around. Can he see me? Hey! Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to play much of this if it's always like that. Get me in here, close the door, then go hide. What can I hide in? Tell me there's a place to hide. There isn't. Just getting the hell out of here. Oh god, he's right out there! Crikey! Yeah, I pressed the B button to hide. Hopefully that's good enough. Uh, what I need is a way to attack. Broke the whole door down. I'm glad I at least shut it to buy myself some time. Oh god. Um, let's go through here. Oh please, no more. Does it have to slam it? Alright, let's hide. Ah, it's unsettling. PLV reflexes says he's going to do an insane run. Boy. Is the dude even coming? So I got that to hide in. As long as he doesn't see me go into it. There's another door to go through. And oh, great! I gotta reload. Let's just go through.
Isn't that where I just came out of? I don't even know. Do not feel like going back there. Can I close the door quietly? Am I just mistakenly not doing that? Oh, not really where I want to hide. Bunch of nasty. Okay, so only doing an action or getting right in his field of vision will alert him, is what my good viewers tell me. Got another battery mixed in with all the guts. That's nothing. Isn't that where I just came out of? Electric room. Probably that's where I need to go. But it's also dark, you know, I can't like keep track of where I am very well. Alright, got the switch there. Do I have any place to hide after I flip it? Yes. And with that, we're going to do it. I don't hide. Ah. That's good that he doesn't hear door slamming. Yeah, John makes a good point that the battery placement is kind of crazy. There he is. Glad I'm hiding. Breaking the door down. Whew. Any of you guys play Alien Isolation? I would say that this is probably like scarier, but uh, you know, because we're all like a little bit familiar with the alien and mildly comfortable with it, even if we don't want it killing us to death. But they're both really tense. You know, it takes a certain constitution to play games like this. Got to be in the right mood for it. Now, just to make my way back, I've done all the thing. Oh god, he's coming! Fuck. 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 Ah! Hide. Where's... Why was he coming? Did he even see me? Does anybody know? Yeah, That was him. Jerk. Oh no, he's checking a locker? Oh, that's not cool. Oh, at least he didn't check this one. We've got about 10 minutes left on our stream, guys. I wish I could stream longer, but um, Saturday nights, every alternate one, I have something I have to do. So, just gonna have to... We're gonna make the best of it. Uh, it's been really good having you all here. Both fresh faces and new faces, which is exactly what I've been hoping for. Fresh battery. Okay. You guys, we do this stream every Saturday. And then we often do one or two during the middle of the week. And we always do them at the exact same time, which is 8 p.m. Central. Man, that guy's just never going to let me get out of here. Good to have you here, John Callahan. But seriously, that's ridiculous that the guy just keeps coming. And uh, if you're not already doing so, please follow me on Twitch. Also, appreciate Tweeter followers. I mean, Twit, 
Twitter followers, if you uh, use Twitter, I'm at Paul R. Acevedo, and you can see that in the channel description. Uh, always, I will be tweeting when I go live. Alright, is that guy going to let me out? Because i got to get out of here. God, Christ, I'm... Oh, you stupid jerk. Oh, crap. Ain't nowhere to hide. Oh, yeah, there is. Okay. Yeah, do I ever get my health back? Do you need some shoes? Okay, good. He went that way, and I am going the other way. So this should be fine, but that wasn't cool that he was totally stalking that hallway. Maybe there's just some kind of element that I didn't notice, but it seems like it wasn't fair. Alright, finally I can restart the shiz. So let's do that. Achievement! Alright! At least I got something out of it. Now to get the crap out of here. Run and run and run. If I even remember where to go, which I don't seem to. <sighs> uh, by the way, just a casual glance at the channel, and I'm sure we're not doing this, but we don't need to argue about which system is better or anything like that, because that is never constructive. Unless you're saying that the Wii U doesn't have enough third-party games, because that's simply a fact of life. Alright, that is that room. Hold on, then I did come from... How'd I get down here? Did they wall up the path I took? Oh, I squeezed through that. That's right. So much better with the lights on. And what is my objective now? Return to security control. Let's do that. They went and broke the doors down. Ah! What the? Oh man! I'm too sneak up on a bull. I'm sorry, my son. I didn't want to have to do this to you, but you can't leave. Yeah, that guy's got some nasty teeth. There's so much yet for you to witness. Dude, I was just going to buy you some crest. Can you see it? Can you? Oh, there's military dudes. Our Lord. The wall rider tearing his truth. Oh into wow. Unbelievers. Is he invisible? The way out of this place well that's not true. fair, they don't have a chance. Accept the gospel, and all doors will open before you. <sighs> I didn't spend eight years in evil medical school to be called Mr. Evil. <laughs> buy you crack. Oh, cool. I'm waking up in the room from In the Mouth of Madness. Anybody see that? One of the all-time best horror movies, in my opinion. Directed by John Carter and starring Sam Neill. Rest in peace. You can hide in here. Fine, fine. So then why even let me put the camcorder down if it's so important for me to hold my freaking camcorder? Okay, that's Father Martin. Uh, this Dr. Wernick is at the center of whatever went wrong here. He died more than 10 years ago. <laughs> awesome, John Callahan loves that movie. You're a good guy, John Callahan, I can tell. Ah! Stay away. No, I'm just going to take a little nap. 
Okay, fine. So he's running around down there. So that guy just seems like a regular crazy person and not like a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Supernatural one. Hey, this is in one of the screenshots that Arm reaching through. Hey, Arm. How's it going? What's up? <laughs> Why would I even try to let him out? All right, man, I gotta hide. He shouldn't hurt you. Uh, okay, yeah, uh, hiding in this pool of guts. Not especially my thing. Uh, and yeah, we're we're coming to the end of the stream. Maybe Father Martin's man. Maybe he looks nervous. I would like to kill him. Those guys are very nice. As would I. The preacher has to. Yeah. You need to listen to the preacher, you jerks. We give him a running start. There's what? And when we kill him, we kill him Are they actually going to come screw with me? Some clothes on your butts. Uh oh. Uh, you look like you yeah, I do look a little like that, don't I? I think I'm going to find a place to hide and we'll wrap it up, since we unfortunately don't have that much time. Take a nice little nap. There we go. Uh, so, for everybody who's been watching, because like I said, I know we have some new faces. I am Paul Acevedo from Windows Central. Our website is windowscentral.com. We do a stream every weekend at 8 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Pacific, and others throughout the week. But always at 8 p.m. Central. That is our thing. That's our shtick. And uh, in this coming week, guys, we're going to be streaming. Uh, we're going to pick a night and stream Tales from the Borderlands Episode 1 and Game of Thrones Episode 1. I'm lucky enough to have Game of Thrones Episode 1 already, and it is really cool. We're going to have a night where we do one hour from each game. The games each are longer than two hours. We're just going to do the beginning of it, because I don't want to spoil the whole story for you. And I thought it would be fun to just see how each of them compares to each other. They come from Telltale Games. They're adventure games. Really strong on story. Neither one of them is a horror game, unlike The Walking Dead, which is a little bit scary, but more of a sad thing. You could call The Walking Dead misery porn, you know, because it's just all about hopelessness and being upset. And, uh, man, I'm upset all the time, so I don't especially need that for my games. But that's just me. Nice. Oh, hey, PM, I didn't see you here. A PM who has previously won a contest with us, uh, he says that he played Tales from the Borderlands Episode 1, and he liked it. And yeah, I really did, too. And by the way, like, if you guys played Tales from the Borderlands or just if you're interested in it, please check out my impressions from the premiere event. We posted those at Windows Central on Thanksgiving on Thursday. If you haven't already, please read that story and leave a comment on it. Also, you know, we always do a story on our stream, the night of the stream. We put it up about half an hour before the stream starts. And that story needs comments, too. So if you guys would be good enough to go there and leave a comment letting us know how you enjoyed the stream, that goes a long way with my bosses, as well as the game developers who give us these prizes to give out. Because we really want game developers to understand that our readers appreciate the contests and the prizes. So, if you have the time, please do leave a comment on that and all Xbox One articles that we run. And we'll love you that much more. We're already awfully fond of you. <laughs> 